In office and personal life, you always have tasks to complete. Outlook task functionality can help you to track your tasks and complete them on time. You can create a task by clicking on new items and on task or click on tasks icon in navigation pane. Click on new task. Outlook opens new task window. For example, if you want to create a task for call doctor's office for an appointment, which you need to complete by tomorrow, enter the subject as call doctor's office. Have the start date and due date as tomorrow. Have the priority as normal. You can set a reminder for the task for tomorrow at 8 a.m. Outlook will display an alert at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Click on save and close to create the task. You can see the task is created. You can also create a recurring task. For example, if you want to create a task for running payroll every month, click on new task. Enter subject as payroll. Click on recurrence. Set up the task to recur every month first day. You can set an end date. In this case, select no end date because you will be running payroll every month. For testing, set the, select the start date as 11.119. Click OK. Set reminder as November 1st, 2019 at 8 a.m. Set priority as high because it's important task. Click on Save and Close. You can see the task is created. An Outlook reminder shows task is overdue by 13 days. Click on Dismiss. The payroll is done for current month, so you want to mark this task as complete. To mark a task as complete, either you can click on Mark Complete button in the ribbon, or you can click on the flag at the end of the task. Click on the flag. You can see the November task is complete. And if you open the task, you can see the next month task, which is due on December 1st, 2019. Also, the reminder is set for 12 1 8 a.m. automatically. If you want to delete a task, you can click on remove from list or click on delete button in the ribbon above. You can see the task is uh, removed from the list. For a recurring task, the Outlook prompts, do you want to delete all or delete the current task? If you select delete only the current one and click OK. You can see the recurring task is now set for January 1st, 2020. For a task, you can update how much percentage is complete. You can also assign a task to another person or multiple people by clicking on Assign Task. Now you can click on To and either from the address book or from the contact list, you can select 
the persons whom you want to assign this task. If they use Outlook, they get a message like a meeting request and they can either accept the task or decline. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.